So in this video we're going to talk about multivariate polynomials and in particular quadratic forms. So definition. If I have f from rm into r1, I'm going to call it a monomial. Monomial. If f of x1 up to xm has the form, I have some constant c out here, I have x1 to the a1 power all the way up to, and I multiply all these, all these guys, up to xm to the a mth power. And if, if this holds for all x in rm, And these guys are real, and C is real. A1 up to AM are non-negative integers. So that's a monomial. And I'm going to say that the sum of the exponents a1 plus a2 plus am is the degree of f. And I'm going to call f from rm into rn a polynomial if it's a sum of monomial functions in each component that is each of the one dimensional functions when you expand this out those are polynomials or multivariate polynomials and we'll say multivariate to distinguish between the two. And the degree of f in this situation is the highest degree of the monomials. forming f. So this is a really large class of functions. And so far we've seen monomials where we basically look at one degree, right, degree one. So those are linear. Those are roughly correspond to linear functions. Now a quadratic form, so we, we generally can't say too much very tractably about really high degree polynomials. So in general we talk about linear polynomials and quadratic polynomials. So linear and quadratic functions, which we know from one dimension already, but we want to generalize them now. So a quadratic form. is a polynomial q from rm into r whose monomial terms all have degree 2. So what does this look like? Here's a quick example. Say q of x1, x2 is equal to a11, x1 square plus a12, x1 times x2 plus 
a 2 2 x 2 square and this is kind of a natural generalization of the quadratic f of x is equal to a x squared you can think of that so this would be the one dimensional this will be the two dimensional quadratic now it, you can definitely tell it's a quadratic because here the degree of this monomial is 2 the degree here is 1 plus 1 there's a an, uh, an exponent of 1 here, exponent of 1 here, so 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's 2. And here, the exponent is 2 as well. So we have a, we have a kind of a nice theorem generalizing what these quadratic forms should look like. And it's, it's almost too easy to prove, so I'm just going to state it. So the general quadratic form Q of x1 all the way up to xn is equal to sum i is less than or equal to j a i j x i x j. Now you can definitely tell that this is going to be exactly all the quadratic forms look like this. Uh, can be written. So we can write them as x transpose a x which is equal to x1 as a row vector times this a matrix where a is a11 one, one, one half a12 all the way up to one half a1n one, one half a12 one, again a22 two, two. So like one half a two n. This will be all the way down to a n n. This will be one half a one n, one half a two n. So the the matrix where I've I've basically done this, and you can work out that this multiplication is in fact going to recover the sum. That's pretty simple. And that's and that's the basic theorem. And you can you can just prove by multiplying things out.